Hi everyone, this is Ivory here. I'm here today to bring you a new video. This video is about Forest Hills last year. Uh, they dropped some gameplay on a live stream. Uh, it's not the greatest footage, a little pixelated and a little laggy, but it's a full match, so you'll get to see how it plays. It is alpha footage, so it's probably going to run a lot better and look a lot better. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Peace. That's good. Let's try that. Let's you don't need okay. as much of the, the, the audio as much as we're just going to show the gameplay. Right. So. Okay. I believe we are starting the game. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, like, the footage, everything, this is on the way to being what we want, but there's obviously some polish we still want to do. It's an alpha build, so, sure. you know, it's everything that we're working on still. But we wanted to show what we have. Um, we have a lot more at back home in process, but this is just kind of what we want to show sure. today. Yeah. just what you wanted to show off in packs, I get it. Oh, Ooh, I love the tree with the body, so yeah, yeah, we're we're working on that. They're gonna probably talk a little bit too in the final build. So oh. yeah, a little whisper. Uh, Everything. Uh, it's all about the changes moving through the different sections on this map. So this is the beginning of the cemetery. You see the hearse crashing in. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. I watched the trailer, so I've seen this right here. But that's all I've really. <laughs> that's all I've seen. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, you got this nice. Good tours. Gonna take a moment to open. Melodramatically. Yeah. Um, oh, what is that? Is that a hand? It is the warlock's influence on this map. Wow. It is his domain, and as you'll see, that's something we're going to be working with going forward with maps: is fiend's identity and sort of okay. home players getting a little bit of touches to that. So uh, we're working on a mind remap, a rework, okay. which is going to have a little bit more of the identity of the spider in it. So it's okay. going to be a whole new version of the mind, something that plays differently, um, and should hopefully be very exciting for everybody. Wow. Okay. So right now, I'm trying to find a key. Yes. So much like uh, in previous maps, it's mm -hmm. the it's the highlighted Hello, area. Hello, blue there. guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the objectives are also going to change around a bit too okay. in terms of the final form of this map, but we felt this was the best way to kind of just showcase some of it. Sure, absolutely. Ooh, my sensitivity is a little. Oh, there we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. I might have to turn that down, but that's all right. Let's see if I can get to this game without somebody bugging me. So yeah, everything's been ported to Unreal 5. We've got Lumen in for the lighting. Um, just trying our best to kind of. Upgrade where we can, just make everything feel a little bit more modern in that sense. Yeah, but I was gonna say, like, it's just beautiful. Like, the lighting, the textures, the graphics are just so much better than what we had previously. Oh, for sure. I mean, last year's a fantastic game, it's just really old at this point. Right. It's like five years old. Or something. I know, I first played it in PAX West, like, 2018 or something. So. Yeah, it's time for the upgrade, I think. thing about the warlock he actually has two forms he's almost like okay. two killers in one right. so he can change between shadow magic and fire magic and that changes all of his abilities really yeah Did i have the key did i drop the key it's likely that you dropped it because you went down which made you drop uh, the, the key okay itself. all yeah. right well let's go grab that then my bad so we're aware of the ghoul's weird ragdoll mechanics that's obviously part of the alpha element of it sure. um, but that's something that obviously they're gonna kind of crumple into the ground a little bit more and just kind of maybe have a little bit more bloodiness to it too when they do that, so yeah. Oh, I'm a fan of that. Actually, you're only seeing one of the ghouls. We have four ghouls planned. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so okay. the ghouls are gonna spawn in various forms. So in the trailer, we showcase one of the other ones very briefly. It's a more bulbous, armless one that can spew acid like a spider. Oh, okay. And then the third one is the cultist ghoul. It's gonna have a lot of robes similar to the warlock. Okay. Um, they're dead members of the warlock's cult. They're gonna cast the very light spells that kind of power up all the other ghouls. And the final one is a larger, pokier ghoul that's ripped its own arm off and can swing with an extended weapon range. Wow, wow so, okay. <laughs> I need to see that one. That's cool. Yeah, they'll all be in for launch um, okay. for the early access. And basically, uh, oh, yeah, Warlock oh. got killed. He just dissipated just into, gone. yeah, he just, in his final death row is disintegrated. But uh, we'll so, see who comes back. All right, we're looking for that little Yeah, so now we're looking 
for the two idols to get to the second section. Right. Uh, the first one is the father idol, the warlock's uh, human form. You see, because he was once a man. He was once a regular person, a cultist. Uh, okay. And oh. he got trapped in here, became a fiend that he is now. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of the connection. You have to find two idols. One is Bellman, and one is the father. Yeah. And the sort of part of the story is why is Bellman showing up in all these maps? He's okay. just the school principal. So there's a lot more to it there. there it was kind of hinted in the school, what with the secret library and right. just sort of showing up everywhere. And we want to continue that with our story, so. Okay, this whole area right here, these like catacombs, creepy. Yeah, this was done, uh, these walls were done by Robert. He was one of our contract artists and he really put a lot of effort into this. Into this work. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in a maze. Yes, we wanted to capture that sort of labyrinthine kind of feel. Oh, yeah. Now, for the final version, we're going to put a few more markers to help people find their way so they don't get completely lost. But yeah, right. we, want, we want everyone to feel a little bit like lost down here. Well, yeah, there's. Oh, is that the idol? That, yeah, oh, that's one of the bus. Oh, they delivered it to me. <laughs> yeah, so you got to go place it back. Oh, you got. I did notice there were arrows. Yeah, the arrows are there to help direct you to one of the two exits to get out of the, uh, the, the crypts. Oh, maybe I should call it. <laughs> yes, it's probably good to do that, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore what's happening behind me. I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna run. Well, it looks like it's Slasher and he's decimating the rest of your team. He is, but yeah. yeah, so we don't need them. We just need. No, that's actually just one of the many rooms. Um, <laughs> we have a new mechanic coming into the game that oh. will be in most maps. It's lockpick. <laughs> it's lockpicking. Oh, there, there's an entrance to your left. Yeah, there you go. So going through a lot of rooms will be locked, and we require sort of lock the mini game to um, be able to enter them. Okay, Ooh, I like that. Lockpicking is very fun in games. I think it's fun. I think it would be a good way to help kind of slow the pace in some areas yeah. and allow us to put more rewards. So, like, instead of just finding a chainsaw sitting on the ground somewhere, what if it's behind a locked door and you need to do multiple locks to get through? Okay. No, I like that. Uh, you think my whole team is uh, getting beat up right now? Yeah, they may have gone a little too uh, too hard on each other. They, they A lot of our play tests are very uh, veterans of the game. I... So, yeah, they... Uh, <laughs> they don't hold back. They do not hold back. That's no. okay. All right, so we got the first one. Yeah, so now you gotta find the Bellman Idol. Okay, I'll try to go and help my team. Maybe. Oh. There goes another teammate. Oh. Slasher's all about like catching up to you and just getting in your face. So by throwing, giving him the axe throw, he can teleport to it. So this way, all of his abilities are designed to just keep up with, with people. Yeah. Now, one thing people have asked me for is the concerns of balance. And obviously, we're going to try and balance everything. One thing we're going to be doing is increasing the base health of the displaced. Okay. So instead of 100, it's going to be where around more 125, okay. maybe 150. Um, we may even play with the idea of different classes modifying your health one way or the other. Um, and the reason we want to do this is to sort of allow for the killers to have to have combat take longer in shorter bursts. So okay. we want everyone to keep, you know, we don't want it to snowball too quickly. We want everyone to kind of keep fighting each other and kind of stay right. in, a, in, a, in a fight a little bit longer. So. Downstairs. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it if you. Yeah, I, I do see that. It's, yeah, it's hidden somewhere in the crypts. You're back down into the crypts you go. Oh, man. He's like right on my tail. It's so, yeah, like that gate you just passed, that would be like a lockpick room. So okay. either it would have an objective or it might just have lots of scrap. Or it might have tons of actual, just regular items to pick up. Uh, and it's just a good way to... Yeah, that's a known bug we have right now in the demo. There's this weird spot that teleports you right back up that's there. That's all right. 
you that know. happens. I mean, it's alpha. It's expected. Earlier today, I escaped from the killer killing me by just, I didn't know, but I, I just learned about the bug and I ran into that section. I'm like, what, what just happened? <laughs> so if I go back, will I do it again? I don't think so. Uh, We're going to find out. We're going to find out, yeah. I'm not too sure. That's okay. It hasn't been that big of an issue so far, so I think it's okay. You can always try a different route. But yeah, that's like some of the stuff we want to work on. Is, uh, just the small polishing details that have come through. Right. Well, I mean, that's any game that has alpha or beta. Oh my god. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. This way. Nope. Yep. Yeah, you want to go up that way. Okay, and then we go drop it off where we dropped off the other one. Yeah, into the center. Oh, he's picking off my team. <laughs> The next map we're doing is the, it won't be at launch, but it's the cathedral set in the same kind of uh, oh, no, I have area. Time. Yeah. And it's going to be this large hedge maze going into a giant church with bell towers. It's going to be really fun. That sounds really cool. A maze sounds intimidating, but It's a I little. Like it's not going to be too complex or too intense, but it's going to have a fun objective, um, and it's definitely going to make use of the maze. Okay. Oh, well... Oh my god! Careful of those fire pits, that damages you. Damages the killer too, but yeah. Okay. The good areas know, of like know. lava and fire, yeah. This whole place is. Yeah, do we know why there's lava and fire? Whoa! Well, that's why. See, the fire magic is sort of a uh, big part of the Warlock character because in the lore, he was sort of in his ritual to pass over to the nightmare. He accidentally started a great fire in front of him. And if I do that, I kind of burn the way he's called the dead himself. Okay. That's why he's more corpse-like. That's why fire is such a, a powerful magic for him. Yeah, so this objective is one of our new objectives. This is a survive for, I think it's about a I'm not entirely sure how long it is, but waves of cryptids are going to come out. Craft in the air, and we have to survive. Okay. I like the waves. They're not zombies. Well, they're basically zombies, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now imagine if the four types of zombies have to get you. So that's. That sounds really scary. Yeah, exactly. So, like, it's definitely something that we're, we're very happy with. Um, now, you can see, you'll notice too, the actual arena moves as you were fighting. And so the gate is now on the other side and it's going towards the whole different area. Oh, so like that green area? Is that for rescuing somebody? Oh my god. It is, but right now we know that it just kind of shows everyone needing to be rescued. Uh, oh, okay. No matter, like, like it just shows the door open once you've opened it. Um, you're now about to escape to the crematorium. Ooh. Um, this is actually going to be a whole new section. Okay. In the live version. Right now it just uses the escape. But in the live version, you're going to go down into the basement, and there are five furnaces with coffins that you have to get in the furnace, burn them, get the key, and each person has to escape by themselves in an individual door. Oh, I love that. That sounds so cool. Yeah, the idea is that you can help each other, because the keys are work for any of the doors, but only okay. one person per door. So you can go around getting keys for everyone and help okay. them. Or you could just get the heck out or of there you yourself. Or you could die and you could just, you know, lone wolf it. Exactly. Which I just did. I'm the only one that escaped. <laughs> Somebody took it easy on me. It's fine. No, no. It's uh, <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely stuff that comes up in games. That's We based that on, I think, the library. I saw that often where people would just, like, activate the escape and run they out. They would just I'm be like, like bye, I'm out. I don't miss deuce. Like, exactly, no. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to try an objective that kind of came Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.